Sacramento Valley residents looking for a quality system to replace theirs with can turn to Ingersoll Rand, who owns Train and American Standard HVAC products. Little known to most people is the other product they manufacture, Ameristar. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Ameristar is one of the most affordable and reliable companies to buy from because of the products they're producing. When I go out to people's homes to give them a quote on a new HVAC system, I always mention our main product line, Train. The reputation Train has in this HVAC industry is unparalleled. From their products being made in America to the testing of their equipment in the laboratories, Ingersoll Rand and Train offer the Ameristar line as their entry-level option for residential HVAC systems. Ameristar furnaces are manufactured in New Jersey, while their air conditioners and heat pumps are made in China. Consider Train's XB80 furnace that was the staple of their furnace installations for the last 15 years or so. A simple design allowed technicians access to the control board, dismantle, and reinstall the burner assembly for easy cleaning. The design also allowed for easy access to the hot surface igniter for testing and replacement as needed. And the blower assembly had a straightforward design to remove, clean, and replace it with little trouble. As a technician who has serviced probably every brand of furnace with various designs for a technician to navigate through, I can honestly say that the Train XB80 furnace had very few issues with it. I would say I worked on them the least of all the others because they just weren't breaking down as often. One of the main repairs on this system was their control board in the blower compartment. They had a Molex connection of nine pins or so that would interact with the back of the control board to tell which components to do what in a certain sequence. For instance, the inducer motor to come on and then tell the hot surface igniter to engage and so on. The Molex connections would separate from the solder connections on the board to operate intermittently. It's just one of those things now that most experienced techs can just walk up to and diagnose pretty easily because they've seen it enough. Every brand out there has their vulnerabilities and this control board issue seemed to arise at about the 15 to 20 year mark of having the system. Other than that, I really didn't notice much more going on with this system. Sure, the occasional pressure switch or capacitor would go bad, but once again, this train and now a Maristar design is so much more reliable and easy to service than the other models out there. Ameristar really makes for a great choice when deciding on an entry-level design HVAC system for your home or rental. Now that Train has moved away from that design and ventured on towards an even better product line offering, Ingersoll Rand has allowed Ameristar to basically take that same Train XB80 and apply it to their own product, which means you're basically getting a Train furnace when you buy an Ameristar furnace. It literally just has a different name tag on the front of the furnace. So let's talk about the China-made Ameristar air conditioner. Some of the things that I really like about them are the scroll compressors they use. These are just like the ones being used in high efficiency condensers out there. And the main benefit of these are the reduction in noise as compared to other systems that use cheaper products. I've also noticed the swept fan blade of the Ameristar air conditioner, which also contributes to lower noise levels. Ameristar really prides itself on its 74 decibel level operation. Both of these items really contribute to that low noise level. The fan and the compressor are really the only things that make noise on the outdoor condenser. You'll also notice the compact design of the Ameristar compared to other modern high efficiency units. Some customers want a low profile unit so it can stay out of sight and this AC really does that well. Also the components inside the electrical panel of the Ameristar are super quality parts. They aren't flimsy brand names that go out within a few years. These are the same items that I would choose when we come out to replace the parts in your current AC system. I'm really picky about the parts that I use for your system because if that part were to go out for as long as you own the system and Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning is in business, we'll replace the part no questions asked. Really the only negatives I hear from prospective buyers are those words on the side of the box that say made in China. With that. I don't have a lot to say other than I really wish it was made in America, but it is what it is and I still stand behind this product and the quality parts that they're using that make the system run so well and so quietly. 
As far as warranties go, Ameristar has a 5-year base limited warranty and 10-year registered parts warranty, assuming you register it within the 60 days of it being installed. As far as warranties go, Ameristar has a 5-year base limited warranty and 10-year registered parts warranty, assuming you register it within 60 days of being installed. In California, that means 10 years without even having to register it. Fortunately for us, that's a great perk of living in Cali. We don't have to register our HVAC products to receive the extended warranties like this 10-year parts warranty. The furnace also offers a 20-year warranty on the heat exchanger. That means as long as you are the original owner of the AC or furnace, you won't have to pay for parts for the first 10 years of the system or 20 years on that heat exchanger. You may still have to pay for labor rates on those warrantied items to your HVAC company, but you'll have to work that out with your contractor. I personally feel that home warranty companies are not the way to go either, as they rarely stand up for what they say they will. Even if they do, the type of technician really varies when they send out the companies they want to, which is usually not the company that you would have chosen. And the time that it takes to get some of those contracted HVAC companies to get to your home to fix it can really take a long time, so buyer beware. Well, I hope this has helped you with your search of Ameristar products. Ingersoll Rand is an established company that takes a lot of pride in their products. Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning is also a company who takes a lot of pride in the products they install in your home. If I didn't believe that this was a good product that was going to last a long time in your home without giving you problems, I wouldn't install it for you. Remember, no matter who you have install your Ameristar HVAC system, please make sure that they know how to measure and install the correct size system for your particular home. That doesn't mean changing it out with the same size that you currently have in your house. Pick the licensed contractor in your California home that will pull a city or county permit and has a good reputation online. When you do, you'll have better peace of mind. Cheap prices don't usually translate to quality installs. If this is your first time watching our channel, please click subscribe down here on the bottom right. And if you click that little bell next to it, you'll be notified of all of our videos as they come out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video. You're watching Fox Family Heating, Air and Solar. Don't forget to subscribe. And check out more of our videos by clicking on the right side of the screen.